everyone, it's Megan and today I'm here to do 25 bookish facts about me. Today I've decided to do this tag because the only personal tag I've actually done before is the booktube newbie tag and I thought this would be a great way for you to get to know me a little better. So with that introduction, let's get on with the video. Fact number one is I really love to read hardback books without their dust jackets on because I have this really, really, really big pet peeve that I cannot have these dust jackets ruined. I think I've only ever ruined one which yeah I've only ever ruined one dust jacket and that was my original copy of <laughs> Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I have absolutely ridiculed this book. So yeah and it kind of set off from there. It looked terrible and I was like oh, I, I can't do this anymore. I need perfection. <laughs> number two is I have a really 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 bad habit of when I get a book I flip to the back and just to check just to check that there are no cliffhangers this has only been a regular thing because I read a book and it ended on a cliffhanger and I had to wait so many years for this other book to come out and it freaked me out so badly so now I have to check and if it ends on a cliffhanger I don't read it until later on in the year <laughs> Fact number three is also another bad habit I have. I love to go on Wikipedia and look up what happens in this book and make sure that no characters that I like die because I read I read Divergent and that just screwed me over so badly. So now I have that. That that's an incident. That's what happens. Number four is I love the look of hardbacks, but I really prefer reading from paperback books. I don't know why this is. I kind of like the look at the hardbacks on my shelf but I really freak out about breaking them like I know they're really hard to break but I really freak out about breaking them and they're gorgeous hardbacks sometimes I do prefer them to paperback so Ugh. number five is my favorite genre is fantasy I absolutely love fantasy I do like others but fantasy is up there it's my favorite genre ever number six unlike most people I don't really eat or drink when I'm reading my books because I find it too distracting like, oh my god. Plus, I don't want to get any over my books because that would be terrible. That would be a disaster. <laughs> Number seven is I take a book everywhere I go. Like, everywhere a book comes with me. It could be to a grocery shop. It could be out with some friends. I will have a book on me no matter if I don't even read it. It'll be there <laughs> in my bag all the time. <laughs> Number eight is at school I was the only person to ever get in trouble for reading while the teacher was talking. That was actually a very true story. Oh my god. <laughs> Number nine, I haven't read The Faults in Our Stars or actually any John Green book and I don't actually plan to. Wow. <laughs> Number ten is I usually read during the day because if I read at night I can't actually sleep because I am too busy thinking about what would happen next in the book. And it's terrible. I literally get insomnia from reading. Fact number 11 is I actually read Aquawar in less than two days and if you don't know about Aquawar it's this thing, this monster, it's massive, it's the same size as Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare and I just literally sat there and read it, <laughs> I just read it all, oh I just hit my door, Woo! Number 12 is I really can't get into audiobooks, I really, I, and this, the major reason for this is that I can't stand that the person is the same throughout the story so you have the person that you start off with and they literally don't change their tone of voice for each character it's the same voice for each character and i can i just get so confused with who we're, who's talking who's talking what are we what what's going on so i don't i don't go near audio books no more Ooh. number 13 i've only ever cried at two books the first being clockwork princess by Cassandra Clare and Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. There's a pattern going on here, people. A really big pattern. Obviously, it's quite vague, but if you haven't read these books, put this down until I put these books down and the next com number comes up because I might this might actually spoil you. The epilogue in this book crushed me. It crushed me. I cried for, for an hour after reading this. And then I sat there in this really big slump for the day because of it. And everyone thought I was really weird about it but it was fine and then the end of this book this one didn't crush me this one destroyed me it was horrible and oh my god what happened should not have happened okay we're not we're not we're just not agreeing number 
number 14 i always buy all my books online i used to go to waterstones which is my local bookshop but considering that there are loads cheaper online like what i pay about 15 pound 20 pound for a book in waterstones i can get for a 10 or 9 pound on the internet so yeah that's how that one works actually number 15 is I cannot listen to music while reading because I end up singing and losing my place Oops. number 16 after I finished Air of Fire by Sarah J Matz I went on a massive rampage on book reads because of the ending of this book absolutely killed me I, I was so annoyed with the ending of this book that it just it was not a good it was not a good day I went and I bitched to everyone everyone that would listen got told about this book and how badly it ruined my life oh my god this book at number 17 i have never lent any of my books out i think i got asked and i had to have all these i have to have all this information before you can borrow my books first i gotta know where you live second i gotta know how long you would take to read it third i've got i have the absolute promise that you will not damage my book and fourth i can bug you no matter what like honestly i think the last person who ever borrowed a book and this was absolute ages ago so i don't class it anymore he i had to keep ringing it i kept ringing it with texting him to ask what bit he was up to and we had a big discussion about it and it was a terrible time for him but it was fun it was a good time fact number 18 is i've actually fell off the chair on public transport while trying to figure out what this guy was reading on the bus i kept leaning over and i didn't realize i let over too far and i actually fell off because I wanted to know what he was reading, I wanted to kind of look it up, look good, <laughs> oops. Number 19, I can only read one book at a time, especially this happens a lot with high fantasy, I kind of have to read one because I kind of mix all the worlds up and if it's got a complicated system in that world, I kind of get so confused with what's going on, so one book's the priority <laughs> at the moment, but on the some occasions I can read up to three books at once, I find it's just preference <laughs> at number 20 i really hate midway cover changes like they totally bug me where you're halfway through like a really long series and they decide all of a sudden we're going to change this cover and it's like why i don't mind if it's for the better that's fair enough but they gotta bring the old books out in that cover but when it's for the worse you're like why why would you have done this oh my god no i can't stand that it's terrible number 21 is i really love fan art like i've got the map of Privian from sarah j mass i do also have some pictures of Resand and freya and some other characters from sarah j mass and also the throne of glass characters as well um but yeah i do love fan art i also like fan merch as well oh my god which explains my ones on this shelf <laughs> love it amazing amazing stuff fact number 22 is i have read harry potter over 10 times and i've had to replace my old copy of harry potter because i ruined them from reading it so many times like the spine was broke and everything it was just it was a terrible 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 time oh number 23 this is going to be this is the most embarrassing one is i like to sit there and fan cast like i honestly i come up with my own little fantasy cast for all the characters in the book oh my god and then i sit there and i debate why this one's better and why that one's not but you know it happens i think some other people do this but there we go that number 24 is i take traits from fictional characters and incorporate them into my own personality because who doesn't who doesn't do that that 25 i really really despise reading slumps they are the bane of my existence i get them so often sometimes that it just it just kills me it really kills me oh god and with that that is my 25 facts about myself i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any of these traits as well please let me know down below because it's be really nice to find out i'm not the only one that does half of this thank you for watching until next time bye